Good evening, ladies and germs. What did the ketchup say to the mustard? I relish the fact that you mustered the strength to catch up to me. This is not, I don't think. Knock, knock, who's there? Catch up. Catch up who? Catch up with me and I'll tell you. Tough crowd. Ralph Finch of Farmington Hills, Michigan may know over 300 jokes on the topic, but for him, condiments are no laughing matter. For the last 44 years, this retired copywriter and amateur comedian has been obsessed with only one thing. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. Ketchup is ketchup. It goes with everything. It's given me pleasure. It takes a fair chunk of my life. Perfect. Ralph is the king of ketchup. I can't imagine Ralph's world without ketchup. In fact, Ralph's obsession has grown so deep that in 2007, he even cashed in his life insurance policy to pay for new additions to his collection. Go back to about 1804, and one is about 1798, I think, with genuine silver labels. To date, he has amassed hundreds of ketchup collectibles worth thousands of dollars. I've been searching for at least 10 years for these Crocs and jugs. They're solid. They say ketchup, and they say, I'm serious. His bottles range from the unusual. Banana ketchup. This is kind of weird. To the expensive. <gasps> this was about $1,000. With this, I'm the uh, ketchup king. To everyday necessities. Not just bottles, it's everything. Ketchup blankets pillows and ketchup articles of clothing. There's ketchup everywhere. <laughs>